month it is, Lions. It's CTE month, Career Technical Education Month. And here, we are going to give you a look at some of our CTE classes here on our campus. Stay tuned. A level two interior design class and we have done three levels of drawings we've done uh, pencil drawing we've done uh, electrical drawing we've done an elevation all right, and we are here in Miss Williams' class, one of our CTE classes as well, interior design, and we are here with Anton Davis. So tell me, how do you like this class? I like this class because it's not only about fashion or interior design. She helps us learn like about life and like how we can apply things to our life and be more organized. And we're here with Miss Graham, our career development coordinator. So tell me, what does your end job entail? Mainly, I like to think of myself as a resource for the students to help them with their post-secondary ed education. So when they graduate, they have a plan of action for their life because once you leave high school, you have to have a game plan in order for you to be successful. Hello, we're here with... My name is Marquita Arena, and I teach parenting and child development. What is your objective for the class? What do you want the kids to know after completing this class? Well, I would want the kids to know how to be a good and responsible parent, how to take care of the children from birth until they get adults age 18, and what needs to be done um, so they won't go through the same cycles as other families with having children in the system or taken away from them. Inside my um, canvas where I'm going to be working. So ideally what we're going to do is create this magazine, um, but you're going to use your picture. Like I already got started and I did teacher. Um, for my tears, you have to do four tears. One of them I got here, God is um, first, in my life, and I did Psalms 22, um, quoting, um, going to a Bible school, and then this is another two. To get these balloons here, you're gonna go over here to the side, and you're gonna over here to the side where it says auto shape, and click on auto shape, and you wanna do call out. I and now we are with Mr. Liddell in his class of Principles of Engineering. So tell me what your students are doing right now, currently. All right, currently we're working on measuring what's called beam deflection. We're studying the properties of the different materials and how they react under a load. So the experiment they're using right now is simply taking a board and we've calculated it's what's called the moment of inertia. And that affects, that number will affect how stiff the board is. And we are here with some students from our level one biomedical class. So are you interested in pursuing any medical careers? Yes, I want to be an RN nurse. Okay. I would like to become a physical therapist. And what about you, sir? I want to be, I guess, a veterinarian. Okay, and what is your favorite assignment so far in this class? The blood optional wet lab. And what are you actually doing right now? I see you have some blood, some blue and yellow stuff. Okay. Everybody needs to have the, um, it says Station 1 Blood Optional Lab, okay? I'm going to read this, and this is going to sum up what we just went over. Each person has one of four main blood types, type A, type B, type AB, and type O, okay? What you're going to do today is you're going to do a lab that's going to identify whose blood was found at the crime scene. Everybody has a sample of blood from each person, okay? You should have at least four people in your group. Go ahead and give one person a blood type. And we're here with Mr. Birch in his class, The Principal of Business. So tell me what your class entails. Well, it's a 
course about as far as introducing as far as uh, principles of business, the main concepts, the foundation of business to uh, students that want to go off and become entrepreneurs and have their own business. So what do you do with the money that you earn from selling cakes? Okay, that's a good question, Kayla. The money that we earn from selling the cakes or anything that we sell within the program goes back into the program, which means that any kind of labs that we have, the kids basically raise the money to support those labs. In addition to Culinary Arts 2, we have a Culinary Arts 1 class. So we get very little money from the district, so our goal is to be self-sufficient, and so we raise money ourselves. So how does this class help students get to Okay, now, it helps, you ask students, you wanna know how it helps them go to college. Well, students, who are interested in going into the culinary industry get work-based experience by being in this class. For example, they're working in a lab that looks very similar to a lab that would be uh, in a professional kitchen. For example, Brianna is now, come over here Brianna, I'm talking to you, get over here. Brianna is doing a internship at Jewel Streets downtown. So she is getting work-based experience because she's interested in going into baking and pastry. So that's one way that it can prepare her to go to the next level, which would be um, culinary school. So you cook dinner for your family at home because of this class? Not because of this class, but it did. This class did help me to, you know, become more of a, a sufficient dinner maker at home. <laughs> Okay, and we're here with Miss Gilcrest, a part of our cosmetology department. So tell me, what does cosmetology class entail? All right, the cosmetology entail program is for a 1,200-hour completion program that the students, once they graduate, can receive their cosmetology license and become self-sufficient and self-employed. With Kanesha, she is one of the students in our cosmetology department. So you're now at your last step. This is the final. So tell me how your experience has been at West Charlotte in the cosmetology department. Well, my experience here, I have achieved and learned a lot while working in, I say, any inspiring hairstylists, y'all should go for it. If this is your dream, go for it. <laughs>